All right, welcome to Creator Hardware. Today we're talking about my home network setup specifically for my home office slash studio, as well as future upgrade plans. Temporarily, I've got this TP-Link 24 port gigabit switch along with a patch panel. It's a standard Keystone style patch panel. You just plug in the back, it's not wired. I don't wanna to have to wire. So let's talk about my networking in general right now in this house. Now it's a large house, it's a three story house. This is the bottom level. My ISP router is actually upstairs in the top floor and it's coaxial. The router sucks. So I have my ISP's router set as pass through. It sends the internet to a Aero mesh system, which I have three hubs in the house. It's an older mesh, uh, but works well. I have tested it. I get the exact same connection, whether I'm direct mounted to the ISP's router or through the Eero system, even down here in the third floor. Now, one of my problems in this office is it was never wired for ethernet. There's no ethernet ports in this office. There's an old fashioned phone line, that's it. There's, so there's no actual hard lines in the wall and I'm not going to <laughs> tear up the drywall to put ethernet in. So my solution is running ethernet cables along the baseboards. <laughs> Janky, I know but most of my internet needs in this part of the office is basically here, eventually to the servers here, and another PC over there, and then my wife's PC. So I've got my PCs currently hardwired through this gigabit switch. Now this is a temporary placeholder. I bought this simply because before I had a four port switch that switched all the internet through here and it was literally hanging behind my gaming PC. So I wanted to, when I did the rack, I added this as just a stopgap. I want a 10 gigabit switch with at least five ports for future and current needs. Now right now I have zero 10 gigabit NICs in anything, but future. The 10 gigabit switch that I had picked out was from Microtech, and Jay's Two Cents unfortunately did a video on it. So it went out of stock when I went to go buy this one. <laughs> Nobody had it. And now it's up $200 from before he did the video. It went from $600 to $800. And well, <laughs> I got other stuff I need to spend money on, so it's gonna have to wait till the prices come back down. Like I said, right now I don't have 10 gigabit in the office at all, so I can wait. When I transfer my Unraid server into the server rack, I will be adding a 10 gig NIC just so I don't have to take it back apart, pull it out to add a 10 gig NIC. So I'll go ahead and when I do the transfer, I'll go ahead and have that card here ready to go and I'll just transfer it in. I also, when I upgrade my editing PC to a 7950X, my plan is to go to a Pro Art board from Asus that has 10 gigabit already built into it. Now, I really don't want SFP. I mean, I'm already kind of hanging out. This is my office. So I don't want to have SFP connections and fiber or anything like that hanging out and possibly getting damaged. So, you know, I, bring, I break a uh, ethernet port, not that big of a deal. SFP gets really expensive. So I didn't want, you know, I don't want SFP, I want CAT6. It's very short distances. I'm really probably not gonna be saturating a 10 gig NIC at this point, simply because it's just gonna be data transfer between my editing PC and my Unraid server, which is just a long-term storage. But future-wise, I'm gonna be adding a couple more servers here so I can play around with other services like, you know, TrueNAS and Proxmox and playing with those, playing with virtual machines. So I wanna have 10 gigabit for them as well as my capture PC, because I've got, in case you don't know, I've got a editing PC over here and I've got a gaming slash capture PC that when I do talking head type stuff that I don't need to be in a different place, I can do just off there. 
and I want to transfer those at 10 gig too. So if I want 10 gig on all three of those, it limits my choices on a switch because I need at least three NAS, PC, PC. If I had a couple more servers, well, that's five. So let me know in the comments if you know a, an affordable Cat 6E type switch that's quiet. I also have to have quiet, which is why I was gonna go with the Microtech because you can do the fan upgrade and you don't have a lot of noise. I mean, I film in here, I work in here, my wife works in here. I don't wanna have, you know, blowing Metronic Delta fans going full blast. And especially don't want it while I'm doing a bunch of editing and, you know, pulling data from the NAS and having that 10 gig network connection. So let me know in the comments if you know a affordable option for at least five port 10 gigabit NIC. But that's future plans. Unfortunately for me, I'm still not, I don't get gigabit here anyway. The next year up with my ISP is just slightly better. And it's just not worth going through the hassle of going back and getting a new switch and for a little bit more everything here works fine. My ping isn't bad when I'm gaming. My upload speeds are fine. Everybody can watch 4K wherever they want. I got plenty. So this is my current setup. And as you can see, I've got big plans for my home lab. So if you wanna see me struggle installing Proxmox, dealing with Linux, get subscribed because I don't have a clue what the heck I'm doing. I'm just having fun. Thanks for watching. This is Creator Hardware.